Have you ever felt as if the relentless pace of life leaves you with little to no room for a true sense of self-discovery? Do you feel like it has become increasingly harder to establish moments of true connection with the world around you, especially the things you know and love most? The quest for spiritual growth can often feel like an elusive dream, and for some who are set to far adrift, it can even be viewed as a nightmare. If you find yourself yearning for a deeper connection with the universe and your place within it, you're definitely not alone. Together in this video, we'll unravel some simple ways that promise to take your alone time and convert it into a powerful catalyst that fuels your spiritual growth, ultimately allowing you to discover the path to a more enriched and harmonious spiritual existence. To begin, it would be wrong to ignore the fact that our connection with nature often takes a back seat when it comes to our overly busy lives. Yet within the confines of the natural world, a deep connection with the universe is waiting to unfold. As we immerse ourselves within the vibrance of nature, we align with the cyclical nature of existence itself. In all of its unfiltered beauty, nature can become the canvas on which we paint the colors of our thoughts allowing a seamless fusion of mind, body, and environment. In this clear state of being, the possibilities for spiritual growth are immense. In the words of John Muir, in every walk with nature, one receives far more than he seeks. Connection with nature isn't just about the physical act of being outdoors. It's a communion with the universal energy that surrounds us all. All of the natural world emits energy, a countless number of frequencies that promote life, wellness, and new beginnings. The air we breathe, charged with the vibrations of the natural world, carries energies that envelop us in a symphony of renewal. Submersing yourself within nature opens up endless possibilities for a conversation with the universe, and each conversation holds a lesson if we choose to listen. Through its boundless generosity, it offers not just a visual spectacle, but a profound understanding of many of life's deepest intricacies. It is almost impossible for one who is alone within nature to not appreciate its beauty and importance. And by recognizing those traits, the natural world acts as a mirror, reflecting that same beauty and importance right back to you. You are an integral part of nature and ultimately the universe as a whole. Knowing this is a crucial key to true spiritual growth. The act of silent contemplation goes hand in hand with building a connection with nature, and it is another concept we shall discuss. Ask yourself, how often do you actually pause to listen to your own thoughts? How frequently do you get lost in the cacophony of external demands? By establishing a routine of true silence, even just for a few minutes a day, you can gain the ability to confront fears, aspirations, and potential. The process of gaining a deeper understanding of your mind's intricacies act as a mirror reflecting the true essence of your being. The end goal is never to eradicate thoughts completely, but to allow thoughts to come to you and leave you in a natural and healthy manner. It's about letting go and surrendering to the organic growth that unfolds within the depths of our consciousness when you allow it. As you sit in silence, you become a witness to the subtle transformations occurring in the garden of your thoughts, where ideas and insights can bloom like flowers. This concept is poetically captured in the following haiku by Japanese poet Basho. Sitting silently, doing nothing, spring comes and grass grows by itself. In the quietude of contemplation, you will tap into an inner reservoir of strength, an unwavering foundation that fortifies your spirit amidst the tumultuous currents of life. Remember that this isn't a passive state of emptiness, it's a dynamic source of empowerment. Carl Jung once remarked, your visions will become clear only when you can look into your own heart. Who looks outside, dreams. Who looks inside, awakes. Grant yourself the permission to turn your gaze inward and awaken to the richness and beauty of your soul. With a free and well-sorted mind, your ability to create a reality you desire is heightened immensely. One could compellingly argue that the core purpose of our lives lies in the act of creation itself. When it comes to the physicality of our human existence, the primal instinct for procreation is an innate drive deeply embedded in the fabric of our species. The act of procreation goes beyond individual desires and reaches toward a collective goal that spans generations. It is the primal force that ensures the continuation of our species. On the spiritual and soulful plane, 
Creative expression is a universal language through which you can shape and breathe life into the intangible thoughts and emotions that reside within. The inherent playfulness and spontaneity that infuse your creative endeavors is a powerful vehicle for self-discovery. Never underestimate the potential for growth, wisdom and enlightenment that lies within the very act of creation. Through it we wield the power to transform not only the external world, but also our internal landscapes. It could be that our life's purpose is intimately tied to this transformative potential, to be architects of change both inside and out. The ability to transmute raw emotion into tangible expression allows the soul to speak in ways that many take for granted, but the truth is, we all have the potential and ability to create. The act of gratitude is yet another communion with the universe that will elevate you on your journey of spiritual growth. Author Melody Beatty wisely noted, Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today and creates a vision for tomorrow. With each thankful expression, you gain the ability to recognize the divine fingerprints that grace your life daily. The beauty and abundance that surround you will become more clear and evident than ever before. The interconnectedness of all things in the universe will expose itself more than ever, and a recognition that your journey is not solitary, but intricately linked to the vast web of existence, will become apparent. Regardless of how tough life might be at this moment, ask yourself, how often do you pause to acknowledge the gifts bestowed upon you, both tangible and intangible? The cultivation of gratitude can be as simple as savoring the richness of each breath, while appreciating the beautiful symphony of life playing in the background. It's not a fleeting sentiment, but a sustained posture of the heart, a transformative way of being that resonates with the essence of spiritual growth. In the words of the theologian Meister Eckhart, if the only prayer you ever say in your entire life is thank you, it will be enough. This leads us to the topics of self-compassion and forgiveness. Acknowledge that you, like all beings, are fallible and imperfect by nature. Recognize that your journey will be littered with mistakes and self-created obstacles, in addition to the challenges presented by life that are out of your control. How often do you carry the weight of your mistakes, allowing them to cast shadows over present moments? The practice of forgiveness is a liberating act that frees the mind from the shackles of regret. In forgiving ourselves, we release the toxicity of resentment as well, allowing the wounds to heal and make space for the flourishing of spiritual growth. This journey is not particularly an easy one. It requires a willingness to let go of self-imposed constraints of judgment, which feels very unnatural at first. Guilt, shame, and regret may surface, creating an internal tempest that obscures the path to inner peace. It's crucial to acknowledge these emotions, to sit with them in the space of self-contemplation, and to understand that feeling does not equate to failure. Over time, you will learn that mistakes do not define you. They become lessons learned and catalysts toward growth and enlightenment. Forgiveness, whether extended to oneself or others, should be viewed as a tender dance with vulnerability. It involves confronting the hurt, acknowledging the wounds, and choosing to release the emotional burdens that bind you. As the Buddhist proverb goes, holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. The poison of unresolved emotions becomes a barrier to spiritual growth. The beauty of letting go and forgiving lies in the liberation it brings. As you release the burdens of the past, you create space for joy, gratitude, and the infinite possibilities that unfold in the present you will quickly discover that letting go is not a relinquishment of control, but a profound surrender to the flow of life, a rhythm of existence that propels us towards spiritual enlightenment and a deeper connection to the essence of our being. If you gained value from this video, we would love to hear from you in the comments, as we are all on this journey together. Subscribe to the Inner Spark Society and unleash the boundless potential of your spiritual journey. Thank you for watching.